Yanis Rosenthal's from Latvia weaves 7 meters of linen by hand a day on average. He uses it to make around 8 scarves. In the winter, Yanis and his wife Leila build up their stocks. In the summer, they sell their goods on markets across Europe. They've been in business for 20 years, and it's been going okay. But the COVID crisis hit them hard, and the war in Ukraine has made things even tighter. I never know what to expect at the gas station these days, and when I turn on the light, I see money disappearing. But those are just practical concerns. What's much worse is how we're losing our humanity. Luckily, Janis Rosenthal's has friends and family helping him to build his house. The prices for construction materials have skyrocketed by over 20%, and the completion date just keeps getting pushed back further and further. The Rosenthal's live in western Latvia, in the tiny village of Abaftsiems. Janis enjoys the picturesque scenery twice a day when he brings his children to school and picks them up again. <laughs> but things aren't as idyllic as they may seem. Latvia, with its two million inhabitants, is among the five poorest countries in the EU. It had close economic ties with Russia for decades. And even Yanis Rosenthal's had a customer for his business there. But the war put a stop to that. The people there liked what we created, but I can't sell my soul. Now it's just sad. Sad and dumb. <laughs> and many others feel just like Yanis. Since the war, people have become increasingly uneasy about their eastern neighbor. Over 30 years ago, the Latvians declared their independence from the Soviet Union, but the trauma of Soviet occupation is still rooted very deeply. Around a quarter of the population speaks Russian, mostly in the capital, Riga. And many in Latvia sympathized with Russia and the Kremlin's policies, at least before the war. Now we see that this change is tremendous. The, the number of people who are so talking about Russia as a neighbor which, with, with whom we can uh, negotiate or trade, it's decreasing uh, enormously. So all the rest who understand what happens, they see that Russia is invader and that we have to be very careful not to have Ukrainian situation, Ukrainian kind of war uh, at our borders on our territory. The Rosenthal's think the war in Ukraine is horrible. But they say even though Ukraine is not far away, they still don't feel their own country faces any great danger. They believe NATO will protect them, and that a Russian attack on Latvia would inevitably lead to World War III. It feels kind of apocalyptic. You wake up in the morning and you just don't get it. You read the news and think, what the hell is going on in this world? But I'm still hoping for good things. I think you have to make the best of it, hold on to your humanity and not lose faith. It may sound childish, but I believe in miracles. The Rosenthal's house is deep in western Latvia, just a few hours drive from the Russian border to the east. The Latvians and Russians share a common history that stretches back centuries, but they face an uncertain future.